Hi, I'm Director Shante Jackson of the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement. Baltimore continues to face an epidemic of gun violence. It's Mayor Scott's top priority to reduce violence in our city. We'll do this through community-based approaches that focus on three areas. One, stop the shooting, while two, minimizing harm, reducing recidivism, improving positive life outcomes, and three, by building legitimacy as we create and nurture strengthening police community relationships that are rooted in trust. To do this, the City of Baltimore, in partnership with the Baltimore Police Department and the State's Attorney's Office, is launching a Group Violence Reduction Strategy, or GVRS. Leadership across our city agencies are aligned behind GVRS to learn from our past attempts at the strategy, to make the necessary investments, and engage other cities who have been successful with this approach. GVRS is also known as Focused Deterrence, and it's a nationally recognized data-driven strategy to help reduce shootings and homicides. Recently, Oakland cut its homicides and shootings in half through GVRS. The strategy works by engaging directly with those most involved in and affected by violence, leveraging an intentional collaboration between law enforcement, social services, and community members who collectively co-sign and deliver an anti-violence message to stop the shooting. To begin, we've got to understand who's at the highest risk of being shot. To gain this understanding, we engaged a technical assistance team led by Dr. Anthony Braga at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Braga is a leading expert in this approach. His team began this analysis in BPD's Western District because it's experienced the largest number of homicides and shootings in the last five years. Our team has been working over the last year to conduct a detailed analysis of shootings and homicides in Baltimore's Western District. This is a critical first step to make sure that the group violence reduction strategy and the significant resources invested are focused on the people at most risk of being involved in gun violence. In most cities, we see that this is a very small percent of the overall population, often less than 2%. To begin this analysis in Baltimore, we conducted a review of homicides and shootings in the Western District. This involved reviewing criminal justice data, as well as interviews with detectives, street outreach workers, and others. Getting serious about reducing gun violence means following the facts. This analysis helps us understand the facts and address some of the myths surrounding violence in Baltimore. Here's what we found through that analysis. First, it's not only youth, but also older men who are at the center of gun violence. Second, by and large, the violence is not driven by drugs and drug markets. Third, retaliatory disputes, primarily involving groups and group members, account for over half of all the incidents. And fourth, it's really a small number of extremely active, high-risk people at the center of gun violence. This fact pattern fits exactly what GVRS is designed to address. Groups drive violence, and group members face extremely high risk of being the next victim. This is the population we need to engage with in order to see reductions. Now, with a deeper understanding of who is driving the violence, Baltimore partners are working on a collective response to this small group of people that includes direct and respectful communication of their risk to people and groups, services support and opportunities via outreach and intensive case management, and focused enforcement action as a last resort for if and when groups continue to kill. As a central part of the Commissioner's Crime Plan, BBD is working closely with Dr. Braga and our partners to learn from the past and successfully implement GVRS. We are deeply committed to this approach this commitment includes an assignment of BPD personnel dedicated to investigation and enforcement, as well as outreach, victim services, and program oversight for GVRS. The officers assigned to GVRS have been selected through a robust application and interview process. The unit will also approach all law enforcement activities through the lenses of respectful engagement and procedural justice. Building on the approaches developed through the department's community policing and consent decree training, we know law enforcement alone cannot break the cycles of violence. So, through GVRS, we are building the systems and partnerships to ensure the tools of law enforcement are used with the lightest footprint possible and only if violence persists. 
BPD is also building this capacity for GVRS through our Baltimore Community Intelligence Centers. Because the success of GVRS relies on successful partnerships with our city, community, and other law enforcement partners. Hi, I'm Jan Bledsoe, Chief Deputy of the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office. The State's Attorney's Office is a committed partner on GVRS as the proven way to reduce gun violence while promoting justice. Our attorneys are embedded in the Baltimore Community Intelligence Centers to support regular shooting reviews and daily coordination to ensure we are focusing our prosecution on the individuals driving violence. Through our regular shooting reviews with BPD and other law enforcement partners, we are also able to refer individuals at high risk to community-based services. In this way, we direct outreach and intervention workers to connect with individuals before they are involved in the next shooting. Hello, my name is Joel Miller and I'm the director of YAP's GVRS program. As one of the referral partners for GVRS, YAP is preparing to support people over 25 years of age who are at the highest risk of people shot. As we now understand from evidence and analysis, this is filling a big service gap in our city's response to violence. Our team is committed to support people identified through GVRS, connect with them, and provide whatever supports are needed to keep them safe, free, and alive. In the three and a half years that Roka has been working in Baltimore, we understand the many challenges young men face. Making these connections requires relentless outreach and helping young men to change their decision-making patterns with tools like cognitive behavioral theory. Our work engaging young men 16 to 24 years old who are at the highest risk of involvement in violence requires a whole systems approach. So we are excited to partner on the Group Violence Reduction Strategy. Community voice and participation are critical to the success of GVRS. That's why Baltimore Community Mediation Center is supporting a series of community conversations and brainstorm sessions around the strategy. As the strategy progresses, Baltimore Community Mediation Center will also facilitate input conversations to ensure ongoing updates from the city and feedback from community as the strategy progresses. With over 20 years of experience and expertise in providing safe space for Baltimoreans to make plans, resolve conflicts, and have hard and courageous conversations, we are excited to be a resource for GVRS, understanding that building trust is crucial to its success. As you heard today, there are many partnerships and resources and development to successfully implement GVRS. If you're interested in learning more, please visit the Monty website or call our office.